So today I'm behind the wheel of the 2022 Toyota Tacoma Trail, and I'm gonna showcase the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do, from left to right. Over on the left, you've got your window switches, you've got your door locks, you've got your rear mirror adjust toggle right here, and you've got your door latch up top. To the right of that, you've got a button that can toggle on and off the light for the bed. You've got an automatic headlight button, as well as a button that turns on uh, the plug ports in the back. And up top right here, you have a traction control off button. Moving to the gauge cluster. It's got a digital display in the center with some analog gauges to the left and to the right. So on the left, you've got your tack. Over on the right, your speedometer with two little gauges in the center of those. So on the left, you've got a temperature gauge and the right fuel gauge. So in the center, there are uh, six different pages that can be cycled through. So right now I'm on the information page. You can go up and down on that um, page. So right now I have the miles per hour, distance to empty, right now tank average fuel economy, trip distance, time rest, a blank page as well. To the right, you've got a compass. Should you uh, set a destination, it'll appear right here as well. Uh, whatever media you're listening to currently off some vehicle uh, settings messages and further settings for the vehicle as well moving back to the steering wheel how i was adjusting everything uh, up top uh, left and right right here basically switches between different pages and up and down cycles through once you're on that different page over on the left you've got your volume controls uh, up and down is the tuner um, to switch between whatever songs you're listening to or whatever station, talk buttons, mode, down here you got your phone buttons, uh, your lane assist buttons, sensors as well. Give you a better look at the steering wheel. Uh, uniquely features a old school manual key. Moving to the navigation display. So this is pretty much the menu screen, but you also have the home screen which can be customized but on the menu screen, you have your destination, audio, phone, apps, projection. So if you connect your phone to the vehicle, this is where Android Auto and Apple CarPlay pop up. You got info, you got stuff like eco, so different uh, average speed, miles per hour, things like that. Traffic incidents, weather, vehicle alert, history. Uh, in the setup, pretty much change everything you can think of. Okay, clock, projection settings, cut the customized home screen, beeping, Bluetooth, audio, phone. I'm not going to click that because it might pop up names for other journalists who've had this vehicle. Maintenance, vehicle customization, door lock settings, things like that. Navigation, Wi-Fi, traffic, and data services. Also on the left and the right of the screen, as you can see, I was quickly... Uh, popping basically between home and menu. Home will get you to the home screen, obviously menu to the bubble screen, as I call it. And then you also have some quick options for audio, map, uh, seek, track, phone, and apps kind of pop you right into those bubbles should you need to. Uh, right here on the left, you've got a power button as well as volume knob. Over on the right, you got your tuner scroll knob as well. Below that, you've got a hazard button a little display uh, that showcases the temperature uh, where the um, air is blowing as well as the fan speed. So um, turn in the temperature knob. They're currently in sync. You can switch uh, the fan and pushing this button changes where the air is blowing. As of course you have all your normal HVAC controls down here. You can turn it off um, as well. To the left of that, You've got a button to heat up the mirrors. And to the left of that, one of the most important knobs in the whole vehicle, it's the four wheel drive uh, selector. So right now I'm in two wheel drive, turn it, you can go to uh, four high. And to get into four low, you have to put the vehicle in neutral first, but you put, push in and turn the knob. Below that, you've got sensor button. Uh, the ECT power kind of changes the, um, the shift points of the vehicle kind of holding higher rpms parking sensors this rear push button is for the rear window in the back right here you've got a usb port old school smokers plug right here below that you've got a lot of cubby hole space followed by two cup holders 
and on the left you've got your gear lever so you got park reverse neutral and drive and once you're in drive you can hit it into the sport mode which basically is a manual mode allowing you to shift your own gears up and down up is forward and down is back put it back in the park to the left of that you've got a manual emergency brake and you have another cup holder right here as well as a spot kind of a square spot maybe for a phone or uh, I guess technically another cup could sit there as well. You got your armrest, which will reveal a safe in this vehicle. Because it's the trail edition, it's pretty, pretty useful to have a safe when you're on the trail. Moving to the passenger side, so the glove box features Tacoma branding and everything, extra keys in there, manuals. Give you a better look at the passenger door features kind of cloth seats with a design in them and that design extends to the rear of the vehicle as the button i was showing will release this window will kind of slide open earlier features no sunroof but it does feature a rear diff locker up top and sunglass holder as well sos button but that is pretty much the interior of the 2022 Toyota Tacoma Trail. If there is a feature I didn't go in depth enough on and you have some questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I will be sure to find you an answer. If I don't know an answer, I will point you in a direction of an answer. Thanks for watching.